Hi gamers! It's been almost five years since my previous Magic the Gathering video. I uh, periodically get questions about this when I'm gonna do a new booster box opening or when I'm gonna show my collection again. So I'm happy to tell you I'm back. I'm back in the Magic saddle, <laughs> mostly playing Commander, but yeah, really happy to be opening some product again uh, on video. But actually this particular video wouldn't have, wouldn't have been possible without my sponsor, Boromagia. Boromagia is a Finnish company that has a, a store in Helsinki, but they also have a web store. And uh, this isn't a paid video or anything, I'm not getting money for this. Boromagia just graciously provided me with this box for uh, opening this for you guys. So thank you very much, Boromagia, for this. Uh, Boromagia is the largest Magic the Gathering uh, store in Finland with uh, tons of uh, unopened product, accessories and pretty much every single card in stock. And uh, they actually also ship outside of Finland as well, so even if you're not Finnish, uh, be sure to check them out. For example, uh, you know, the postage costs uh, for a uh, booster box like, like this is like between 5 and 9 euros pretty much to any uh, European country. And uh, uh, of course shipping for singles is, is a lot less. Uh, so please use the link in the video description uh, if you want to check out their mystery booster uh, product and uh, single cards. And uh, uh, so uh, maybe we can do more of these videos in the future. And uh, I'm not ju just saying this, uh, these uh, things about Boromagia uh, because they told me, uh, but uh, I'm actually, you know, it's my go-to place uh, uh, in real life as well for, for Magic the Gathering and actually for retro games as well. Not that many retro game stores in Finland and uh, they also have another store, uh, Retromagia. Uh, uh, and uh, the website uh, link is uh, down below as well. So uh, not just magic and the board games, but retro games as well. So uh, maybe we should get to opening this booster box. Let's put Poromagia right there. And uh, yeah, this is uh, uh, quite a different set. Uh, it's it's not a standard legal, so it's just uh, just a bunch of reprints. And uh, it's uh, the largest set that has ever been released. It has a total of uh, uh, 1,815 cards in it. Uh, each booster includes uh, 14 cards, uh, regular cards, uh, which uh, include one uh, newer border, rare or mythic rare, and one older border, uh, rare or mythic rare. So, uh, so two rares in, in one uh, booster, and also each booster includes a foil. And uh, maybe we should open this up. Uh, also includes uh, a foil card, which can be uh, any uh, rarity. And uh, what's uh, crazy about this, uh, you know, in addition to uh, having uh, over 1800 cards in total, is that uh, each card. Uh, is uh, has basically the same uh, odds uh, to open in each booster. So be it a common or a mythic rare, they're both equally rare or equally common because they're just you know there's all over a thousand different commons here. So any any given common is is equally as rare as any given mythic rare, of which you have thirty in the set. So uh, and uh, yeah, of course this should be uh, this is best treated uh, uh, as a as a draft booster, but uh, yeah, really happy to be opening this up and we could get some crazy pulls here, but uh, I think we're we're gonna having uh, we're gonna be having lots of fun regardless. So a total of 24 boosters here, and uh, let's go first booster. been a while since I previously opened this. I, I love it. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, and yeah, uh, here you can see that uh, the uh, set symbols are uh, the originals. Uh, it's uh, it's like a totally 100% uh, reprint, except for this little planeswalker symbol here in the lower corner. Focus. 
so you're gonna get get anything here there are dozens of different sets uh, inside here and uh, just uh, just a little planeswalker symbol there in the corner to differentiate these from the original releases so you get uh, two uh, commons or um, uncommons for each color and uh, then one uncommon or common for a multicolor card and uh, one uncommon or common for a land card and then we get to the rares here are null spine dragon and Teferi's protection and then uh, the foil we got a rare foil uh, Teferi's puzzle box so nothing uh, yet to write home about let's see how we do uh, how should I put this maybe like that Classic Mog Fanatic, love that guy. And we got a Lotus Petal, that's that's really cool. Uh, uh, the old, uh, uh, old uh, uh, border as well. And Revel in Riches. Of course, uh, Lotus Petal is a common uh, in Tempest. So not not really sure what's what it's doing here in the uh, rare slot, but it's uh, it's uh, it's a really cool card and an uncommon foil scrib ranger. Actually, and, and another uh, in the rare slot here we have a crenellated wall, uh, but just an, just an uncommon here. And uh, we have our first mythic, Daredi Scrap Savant, and uh, an Ogre Gate Crasher foil. I guess we'll just put this here in the rare slot. I guess uh, having the old, old. Uh, a border makes it rare or something. <laughs> and then we have a sadistic hypnotist from Odyssey and trading post. And a foil Geth's Grimoire. And yeah, there are a, a total of uh, 1,694 you know, regular cards and 121 foil cards. So not everybody, every card here is available for uh, the foil treatment. And the foils themselves are, uh, are not available in non-foil form here. So it's a totally different card slot there, the foil. Got Wirewood Lodge. And Doom Gape. And uh, Eureka the Tiger's Shadow. And, uh, a third rare here as well Foil Intruder Alarm. Actually, yeah, this, this wasn't the rare. Yeah, so three rares in one, one pack. Chapter Carvex Torch from Mirage and our second mythic Expropriate and uh, Echo in Decay as the foil. The drafting this set uh, it's gotta be a lot of fun, you know, just 
crazy amount of uh, I don't think uh, I'm not sure if, if I've, I've had a single duplicate even in the comments here so yeah Reliquary Tower Mistform Shrieker our third mythic the Gidrock Monster and a Codex uh, Shredder maybe I should uh, put the uh, mythics in a different pile here just so we know Speed through these uh, comments and uncomments. Uh, assemble the Legion and our fourth mythic, uh, Star of Extinction. And uh, Souls Attendant as the foil. Soaring as an uncommon. Great. Oh, and Tinker. I love Tinker. Such an overpowered card. And Chaos Warp. And then we have Mirrodin's Core as the foil. Armadillo Cloak was such a beating back in the day. Hurricane from 10th edition. Reality Scramble. And Foil Mage Right Stone. Yeah, some really good um, uncommons here that I'm breezing through. Young Pyromancer, Celestial Crusader. Some, some cr pretty good um, value here. Field of Ruin, Nemesis of Reason. Our fourth Mythic, Nissa, Voice of Zendikar. And Echo and Decay as the foil. Very Conclave, Bear Cub from uh, Portal 2nd uh, Edition, so some really old cards, a uh, Steam Flogger Boss, and a Harmonic Sliver as the foil. Oh, Seven Lions as a common here. Which uh, this was also, of course, a rare in Alpha, Beta, Unlimited, Revised, and so on. So, uh, yeah, you can see here the power lever, uh, level uh, going on. Now, that's a common brainstorm, common, yeah, really good. Good stuff here. Blastoderm, I loved Blastoderm back in the day. Ancient Den, cool. A caged Sun and a Drug Skull Captain as the foil.
energy field from Orza Saga and Black Market. And a third rare for this pack, Pukas Mischief as the foil. <laughs> it's just so cool to be opening up, you know, rares from Orza Saga. Love this set. Pod, Imperial Armor from Weatherlight and Mirror Entity as the rare. And uh, we've got an Eldrazi foil, not of this world. Let's see how many of we have left? We have uh, nine boosters left. So we are over the halfway mark. Let's see what else we got here. Mistress Factory, Eater of Days, Nin the Pain Artist, and a third a rare form of the Dragon Foil. Finding Reeves, Font of Mythos, Coveted Jewel, and Morrow, a rare foil. Enchanted Evening, a Tireless Tracker, and a Spring Jack Shepherd foil. Crop Rotation, that's actually a really, really powerful card. Check it out if you haven't. Uh, our fifth mythic, Cargan Dragon Lord, and a Torian Mauler, and a rare uh, foil amulet of vigor. Sixth mythic, uh, Athrias, a god of passage, and a cauldron of souls, and uh, a foil mythic, Sarkhan the Mad. Still looking for maybe a mana crypt? This should be should be good. Temple of the False God, uh, Juicy uh, Apprentice, Living Death, cool, and Norin the Wary, that's a rare foil. Three boosters left. See what we get. Shrouded Lore, uh, Drana, Calastria Blood Chief, and uh, a Mythic Foil, Lich's Mirror. Two left. Tormite Script. 
Hawkon, Storm God, Scourge, Phyrexian, Plague Lord, and uh, Foil, Drogskull Captain. Last one. Another mythic, uh, Purporos, God of the Forge. And Aminatos Augury as rare, and the final foil is <laughs> Stormcrow. <laughs> That's fitting. <laughs> uh, classic, classic, uh, way overpowered card. <laughs> so, uh, let's see what we got here. So, we got these. Um, uh, yeah, Sol Ring isn't really part of, uh, part of that, so these uh, uh, old bordered cards, some really cool stuff here, and a uh, bunch of rares, let's see how many we got from 24 packs, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So a total of, uh, oh, this one's actually here, uh, but a total of uh, 30 rares from uh, 24 packs and uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mythic rares, uh, including two foils. So uh, not sure if that's, uh, you know, uh, above or below average, 30 rares and uh, 10 mythic rares from 24 packs, but uh, yeah. Uh, I'd say that the uh, odds are are there. Just uh, you, you just don't know what you're gonna gonna open. I think maybe uh, what's the most uh, valuable card here? Maybe Porphyros. Not sure. And uh, yeah, some decent stack of foils as well. Oh wait, we had a, a one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven foil rares as well. So, uh, yeah, we got a total of uh, 47 rares or uh, mythic rares here in addition to, uh, to the old cards here. So, uh, yeah, like, like, uh, Pretty, pretty close to uh, uh, the uh, two rares per pack. Uh, just about, about there. So yeah, that was that was really fun. I I hope you enjoyed this uh, as much as uh, I enjoyed uh, opening up some some magic cards after a really long while. Uh, again, thanks to Poro Magia for for sponsoring this video with this uh, booster box. Go check them out from the link below. And uh, uh, hope, 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 hopefully I'll see you soon again. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.